Hi, and welcome to Three Things in Three Minutes. I'm Nursi. Today we're going to be talking about Neustjord, which is an Uwe Rosenberg medium weight worker placement game uh, in which you're trying to essentially develop a uh, fishing village in Norway. It takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play, and it, uh, in true Uwe Rosenberg fashion, has a solo mode, otherwise plays up to four players. And the general idea behind this game is that you're trying to build your own fishing village and uh, create an engine and an economy based on it. A lot of it has to do with fishing and gathering fish each round, uh, but there's also some a gathering of money and wood, and you're trying to use buildings to and elders uh, to create your own economy. Uh, three things I really like about this game, a lot of the variability comes from these buildings, and there are uh, three different sets of building stacks. You only use one of those stacks per game and there are three different kinds of uh, building levels within each one of those and within each of those you actually only use a subset so within from game to game you're actually going to see a very different set of buildings which will really change how you play the game and what your strategy is going to be it's also a pretty quintessentially Uwe Rosenberg game uh, that's relatively short and uh, medium length so probably I would say similar uh, to Glass Road in terms of its complexity that you get to do typical Uwe Rosenberg things like have a bunch of options for buildings and cut down forests, uh, which is a big thing. Um, and there's also a little bit of feeding, which I'll get to in a minute. And uh, the economy is actually pretty streamlined. You're really only worrying about fish and wood and money. And there's a very interesting share system to the economy where uh, over the course of the game you have to give away some of the fish you collect but you do get a short term reward and you get a long term end game reward or lack of penalty for doing that which is a very very different system. Uh, a few things to consider about the game. The elders, which will give you uh, special uh, actions that you can take each turn, are not variable. You actually will get to the same elders depending on how many players you have. And some of them just didn't seem as great as the other ones, so I, uh, that does not quite have that same level of variability. Uh, also, depending on how you feel about feeding in Uwe Rosenberg games, you do still have to give the elder fish every round. It's not usually a big deal uh, to do it, but if you were hoping for an Uwe Rosenberg game that does involve giving food to people, this is not that game. And finally, the buildings actually have a lot of text on them that explain what they do, which can be a little bit difficult uh, to uh, see because there are a bunch of them out and they're pretty variable. It sort of reminds me of the Tableau and Caverna that way. So. Overall, very Uwe Rosenberg game uh, in a medium weight, which is great. It's got a pretty variable setup building from game to game, uh, as far as the buildings go. And it's got a pretty interesting economy, but it does include feeding. Thanks.